Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, bringing you a game of Team Deathmatch on Hazard. So uh, this is not the most incredible gameplay you'll ever see. Uh, the, the map pack just came out tonight, but um, uh, it's it's oh, whatever, pretty good game on Hazard. So uh, the first thing is the class, right? That I used to have um, like a, a dedicated Team Deathmatch class back in Modern Warfare 2, and it would have Ninja and it would have a Silencer, and I would use it for uh, Team Deathmatch and Search and Destroy games whenever they came up because we played Mosh Pit a lot. And even though I'm not really a a fan of TDM, uh, you know, I played Mosh Pit and you would get that sometimes, or maybe it wasn't Mosh Pit, maybe it was S&D, whatever, but um, uh, just today I set up a TDM class for um, for Black Ops, which I had never done before, I had never had a, um, a Ghost class outside of my anti-air class, but um, yeah, that, that didn't have a silenced weapon, so it was like, you know, not really much point in running Ghost except for my ability to take out air power, then I'd switch away. And uh, just tonight, as I set up this class, I was like, you know, I, I was really struggling in Team Deathmatch because um, you know, everybody seemed to have ghosts, everyone seemed to have silenced weapons, and uh, eventually I just broke down and said, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. And, uh, and I will beat them, I promise you, uh, but for tonight, I joined them. I joined them so that I could get a, a half-decent gameplay fairly easily uh, by, um, by running the silenced weapon in a ghost class, and I have Ninja too, which helps a lot. Look at that guy. <sighs> I may have ghosts, but I didn't play like him. <laughs> you know that that that's the frustration. You know, and it. it, it uh, what do you say? You know, it, it, some guys play like that, and um, maybe I should have checked my corner. It, it's tricky, you know. And it, it, obviously, you check your corners, but um, you know, it, it's like every corner. I, I just that guy was camping uh, to an extreme that uh, that that's that's hard to combat. You know, sometimes you just run into that sort of luck. But let's talk about the map pack. So. Um, I've talked to, let's see, I talked to Mercadurka, I talked to uh, uh, Hutch, I talked to um, uh, Joostra. Uh, tonight, we, we were all playing together, and the general consensus seemed to be that everyone loved three out of the four maps in the Mac Pack. Now, these are early impressions, right? So, so minds may change. What I found was interesting was that um, we didn't all love the same three out of four. Uh, for me, Hazard, the one that you're looking at here, is the map that I don't like. I see that in like Insta Death. Um, I find that the lines of sight are too long in Hazard, and um, it's a sniper's map, which uh, anyone who watches my channel knows that sniping is not my cup of tea. And uh, um, on uh, Domination in particular, B is so exposed. Almost every spot in the map seems to have a, a close line of sight at Bravo that the first team to take B on every game I played tonight has won. So uh, I would love to see an update where they put some sort of cover near B. You know, give, give us a gift or, or something. Because as it is now, there are just camping spots from all over the place that have lines of sight at B. And, and if you don't capture it right away, uh, which is easy to do if you have a team, but it's hard to do if you're solo, then um, you know, it's just I find it impossible to push a team back by yourself to the extent where you'll be able to cap B on your own. Whereas uh, on a lot of other maps, you know, if I'm the super me for a little bit, then I can get that done. And uh, so that's why Hazard is not my cup of tea. I'm not a fan of the maps that play like this one that have really long lines of sight. Having said that, if you stick to the left here, you can see all these blocks popping up that I just walked past. Um, you can totally navigate those to make sure that you get the engagements that I like to get, which is the up close gun on gun fights. Yeah, that, that, that's, um, that's the thing that I do best. So, um, uh, yeah, on the left side there. Now, on the right side, the parallel, this guy outsmarted me. I, I thought he was going to be right around the corner. Um, on the right side, the parallel is not quite the same. There is a long road, and uh, and it's really just a thinner version of the middle. So, uh, so you know, it, you got to win a, a long distance gunfight, and, and for that, you know, whatever. Another thing I noticed tonight, and I'm not absolutely sure, but I live streamed, and they told me in my live stream that, uh, ugh, bad aim. Uh, they told me in my live stream that um, they nerfed the G11. And I'll tell you, in my hands, the G11 felt super nerfed. Like, a, I was getting, uh, I don't think I ever had four bursts without killing, but I definitely had four burst kills uh, at a distance and, um, and uh, lots and lots and lots of three burst kills. So I don't know what they did. They may have made the damage fall off uh, a lot sooner. Like, that's the behavior I think I'm seeing. Uh, the raise what is it, aim down sight time seems to be slower, but this could all be in my head. You know, I'd love to hear some sort of official word. I might be crazy, but man, I, 
the G11 just wasn't working for me tonight. And uh, because of this map in particular, I started arming the G11 a little more because it has all these long lines of sights. It's it's kind of my anti-sniper gun, and um, and it's on my anti-air class, so I had it uh, I had it equipped already with a ghost class. I was like, all right, this will be a, a pretty good choice. But it turned out not to be a good choice for me because it just... Maybe it was my connection. I don't know. Get drop shotted. But uh, I'd like to hear it from you guys. Maybe leave a comment and let me know if um, if the G11 has been nerfed or if you know about that. So um, so that there, it's it's pretty obvious. I once did a um, a quick tip video on how to handle um, you know guys who were just camping on the other side of the wall, and it's basically aim from the tip or aim from the hip as you uh, as you walk around the. Um, the, the thing and you'll win that gunfight every single time so that's what i did there and uh and and yeah it works you know it, it works for two reasons one uh, it, it's just simple reaction time and uh, two he has like his input lag delay that will be a problem for him you know he doesn't see me as soon as i see him because i'm the one moving he has to be notified that i'm coming and uh, in the same way like if i crouch behind a barrel and i pop my head up well, I know my head has popped up before he does, and I get this sort of, you know, shot off uh, to start the gunfight the right way that he doesn't. So, um, so yeah. And I remember this guy. He, he was clearly up there, and I lost him. I think he knows that I'm after him. I cook a nade for him. I, I didn't stop and watch. Yeah, see, I got the nade right inside, but I didn't even get a hit marker. And I, I just, <laughs> at this point, I'm totally baffled as to where this guy went. I guess he jumped out and ran down the road on the left side, as I look at it. But, um... In game, I didn't really know where he was, but uh, something really unusual happens here in just a minute. And I pick up a sniper off the ground, you know, because why not? And then here it is. I think it's the longest scope in the world. Come on, Woody, hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, Grizz. <laughs> and here comes the chopper. So, uh, so yeah, there it is, sniping. By me, something you don't see very much. So I'll speed up the chopper gunner while I talk about the maps. Um, for uh, for Justra, I think the map that he didn't like was a Silo, the ones that had the, the missiles that pop up all the time. And I'll tell you, as much as I hate noise, as much as I'm, I've kind of developed some sort of reputation for complaining about noise in Black Ops because I don't like the train, I don't like the missile launch, I don't like the vibrations. Um, on Silo, Maybe, you know, it's only been one night, but I'm finding that I'm navigating that map so well that I'm overlooking the, the ridiculous noise. I, I don't know how many missile launches there are. Are there four? It's crazy. There's definitely two. There may be more than two. And, uh, and it just seems... I don't know why Treyarch has bad sound. If you go back to World at War, I found the bad sound was there too because your own character has, like, metals and zippers or something. It's like jingle bells. And... Um, in, uh, in in all the, the Infinity Ward games, uh, you can usually hear what's going around you a little better. You know, you can use your sense of sound as well as your sense of sight. Whereas Treyarch seems to think that um, that it should be a sight-based game only. So uh, so that's that. But um, here it is. There's a game of <laughs> I wanted to get a final kill cam with a sniper. Wouldn't that be cool? But uh, 26 and 7, you know, whatever. I'm just learning this map. And I thought you guys might enjoy it. I like every map except this one pretty much. And... Uh, uh, and this one, I, I think I really don't like it because it doesn't play domination very well. The B is way too exposed, and, uh, and and we need to figure out a better way to cap it, figure out you know who to kill so that you can get a guy on there and survive the cap. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, and uh, here's two videos you may not have seen. Uh, one is a drive-in gameplay. So I play domination on drive-in. Drive-in is one of my favorite maps on this, so you get to see me play it, and I run around with an SMG like uh, like guys like to see. And the bottom one is Black Ops patch details. So um, uh, I go in, I, I detail line by line what Treyarch said they did, and then I add some extra information from David Vondahar's tweets about the FAMAS because uh, they're usually kind of ambiguous about... The, um, the details on what they do to the guns. And at least in the case of the FAMAS, we know exactly what those changes are by following them on Twitter. We put that information together and added it to the, uh, the patch update. So um, so there's two videos that you might be interested in if uh, you're still following Black Ops and, and enjoying the game like I am. So uh, have a nice day.